Hello and welcome to this presentation on the Pi Supply Smart Lower Gateway. I'm Ryan Wormsley, part of Nebra Limited. As a quick overview for our gateway, it's targeted between under £400, including VAT. The base model will include our gateway mainboard, a daughter board, a Raspberry Commute Pute module, a Lower module, a IP67 rated case with the antenna connectors, a lower antenna, a RJ45 gland and we've got the optional ability to have a second lower module and a 4G module. Let's see how it's assembled. First you put the main board into the case, screw it in using the four screws and mounts provided. Then after that is done, we then get our compute module daughter board. This on its own daughter board, so you can take it out of the gateway and easily reprogram it with your computer over USB. However, in this case we're just putting it in the main board, and we do that by pushing the compute module into the socket and then the daughter board onto the main board. Next, we're going to insert our lower modules. Our gateway can support two lower modules. As you can see here, the lower modules come in a MPCIE form factor. And we're currently using the rack 2247 and rack 833. At the same time, it also supports the 4G module, which you'd insert here. However, for this example, we're not currently using it. After that, you just need to plug in your power over infinite cable. And as soon as I do that, we can see the gateway turns on. So now we can shut the lid on the gateway. and seal it up using the four bolts around the case. Then we have the setup of the gateway. One of the main things we've tweaked to make our gateway as good as it can possibly be is the user experience of getting it set up. So the first stage is we need to load the software onto the compute module. When you buy this a version of the software will already be on it. However, if possible, it's always recommended to update the software to the latest version, and this will do that. The process takes around 10 15 minutes depending on the speed of your computer, and we can see here it sped up. The software first writes the image and then checks the image which is stored on the Raspberry Pi to make sure that it's not corrupted. After that is done, Simply remove the Raspberry Compute Module cable and put it back in the gateway. Next, you navigate to IoT Lower Gateway in your browser and you're greeted with this form. And you can see that I'm filling out my email address, typing in a password, selected Nebra Smart Lower Gateway, giving it an ID. This is like an internal network ID rather than the actual gateway's ID, as we'll configure that later. And we can see the first time setup is complete. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the main page. And we're now greeted with our login. I'm now going to log in using my username and password. And we're now logged in. And we can now configure the gateway. So we're going to configure the lower module 1 first. And for lower module 1 we're going to use the things network. So type in a gateway ID. For the things network it uses the newer packet forwarder format so we don't have to set the legacy packet forwarder. I'm going to put in Europe as I'm in the UK and select my rough location. 
close enough. I'm going to click register gateway and I'm going to copy the ID and paste that into our configuration tool and then I'm going to do the same for the TTN key and then select the same server that I selected in the console and then next I'm going to copy and paste the same latitude and longitude that I had put on the TTN console into our software. Finally I'm going to put my approximate altitude in and click update. That's packet for the one done. Next I'm going to go for the second level module and we're going to configure this with the things industries. So I'm going to go to the things industries console, go to gateways, add a new gateway and I'm going to copy the EUI generated by our software as this is using the older format. I'm going to give it an ID for my internal records set it to public and on the 868 band and then click create gateway I'm then going to copy the server address and put that into our console and then because we had the other module set up correctly with the latitude and longitude that was already there so I can just click save next I'm going to restart the gateway this will apply all the changes to the software and then after around 30 seconds to a minute the gate will do a full restart update any software that's required and then return us to the main page now I can go onto the Things Network console and see that my gateway is receiving traffic. Once my node boots up, there we are. And I can also then go to the Things Industry console and see that because this node was not on the Things Industry and on the Things Network, the Things Industry dropped that packet, but you can see the same gateway picked up both packets and then used the correct network to send the data to. And that is it for our quick preview of our Smart Lower Gateway. To find out more, visit our website at nebra.io forward slash smart gateway. Message us at Nebra Limited on Twitter. You can also contact me directly if you want to find out more. My email address is ryan at piesupply.com and at ryantech on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this quick preview of the Smart Nebra Lower Gateway and I hope you're staying safe and well at home. Thank you.